What's up, my friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for The Outer Worlds. All right, guys, we are back, and um, I was really kind of gutted that I couldn't finish up this uh, building uh, last video, but it looks like a pretty big building, and I really, really ran out of time. But we're going to get to it today, and um, I'm just going to... This is like a couple days after my recording sessions of like four episodes, so I'm just going to kind of reacquaint myself with what's going on here. Um, so we need to deliver Reed's message. That's right. Reed asked you to deliver a message to... Uh, Adelaide and her deserters come back to town because he's cutting off their power. Adelaide and her people are camped out in the botanical lab north of Edgewater. That's right. That's right. I need some kind of doodad for my ship. This guy said he can't. we can't have his because it runs his town. But there's these uh, people that deserted and he wants me to basically take the doodad out of their power source, which will cut their power. Um, and I think I have a choice. I think I could either take it from Edgewater or maybe maybe the um, Deserters uh, area. I'm not really sure. I'm going to take it from the Deserters, though, uh, because Edgewater, you know, I don't know. I feel like we need to bring everyone together. Everyone needs to be friends. All right, so we're going to take a look at our Survivor, Pavardi, because I didn't get a chance to do it last episode. And we're going to take a look at our item. She's got a, a light pistol. And she's got an impact hammer, which looks pretty good. Looks like a lot of DPS to me. Um, she's got a... Um, Mechanics overalls, uh, probably better than what I have for. Let's see if we can compare. Uh, see, it's not letting me compare, which is kind of weird, but oh well. Uh, actually, I think, well, we'll definitely put on that helmet. Um, that'll give her plus five to lock picking, which is her skill of choice as well. Uh, let's see if we have something better for her. That's seven armor, uh, five armor, four armor. Yeah, she's got, she's got pretty decent armor there. It's kind of weird I can't compare. I can compare with my guy still, right? Inventory. Yeah, I can compare with my guy. I just can't compare when I'm when I'm on this, the tr the thing with her. All right, well, whatevs. Um, let's take a look at her. She doesn't have any perks yet. These perks seem pretty basic: um, threat generation, engineering, or health. Um, and these are her skills. She's got um, behaviors. I could put her on. I could change her behaviors. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Um, her skills are persuade and lockpick and engineering. And her abilities. This is the one that I think I can use. Um, with the C button, and uh, Pravati slams down her hammer, creating a blast wave that shocks enemies and stuns auto mechanicals. Uh, knockout knocks the target uh, to the ground, rendering them unconscious for a few seconds. Stuns the target, leaving them unable uh, to act for a short time. So that's the one that I can make her do. So that should be pretty fun. All right. So did we loot all these guys? Um, I think we did. That guy was looted. Uh, it looks like we did loot them all. All right. Fair enough. I didn't think I looted them all, but apparently I did. Let's see if we can look around here. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, yeah, so we could break into that. We can hack into that. Uh, I don't know if I really want to. Um, what is that? Chaw? Uh, that sounds like um, uh, tobacco, doesn't it? Is that tobacco? I think that's tobacco. Uh, chaw. Yep, yep. Nicotine high. Range weapons uh, spread negative 50%. Range weapons sway negative fifty percent. Nicotine law, um, the range weapons spread plus fifteen percent. Range weapons sway. Okay, all right. Uh, recommended by ten out of uh, ten medical professionals. I wonder if you can get addicted. That's what I'm wondering. All right, so let's all right, let's hack into this thing. Why not? Why not? We have the thingy bobs to hack into them, so we're gonna do it. All right, you tried your best. All right, um, uh, Emerald Vale Community Center. Terminal access, please select the command. Um, hack 25 and code first aid key card. All right. Logs. Uh, history of Emerald. I, I, I really don't care much about this. If you guys do, you can go ahead and read it. Pause the video. And uh, I guess that's it. All right. Fair enough. It's kind of weird that I didn't get anything out of that. But maybe I, I probably missed something. I'm not usually big on those, uh, those computer hacks. I kind of just blow through them because, I don't know, they just I don't know, they bore me. So, uh, yeah, so I, I very well could have missed something, but that's all right. That is okay. We got to get back into the action here. Oh, light ammo. Weapon parts. Heavy ammo. That's what I like. I like that heavy ammo. Hells yeah. Hells yeah, I do. So it seems like a lot of people weren't uh, keen on this game because it's on the Epic Store. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, you know, big, you know what? Keep a look out. Keep a look out for it. You know, if you, if it ends up really, really getting you excited, maybe you can get it off the Epic Store. And if not, um, I think it's going to be on Steam in 2020. So you could always do that. All right, there we go. Oh, we got here. Ooh, a sword. That looks like a um, yeah, it's an antique saber. That's probably not something you want to use in combat. 
I'm assuming it's like mostly just for show or it's super duper old. What is that? Oh, the toss ball. Okay, yeah. Saber. Uh, there it is. No, that's not it. Where is it? Uh, Sentry Saber. Trip Saber. Saber. Yeah, that's the um, Trip Blade. Trip Blade. Huh, I don't know where it went. I, I did pick it. I don't know. Maybe it's not something. You know, it's probably junk, right? It's not junk. Oh, it's in here. Oh, it's a quest item. Not much use in combat, but it'll look good. Yeah, that, like I said, it's um, it's not used for combat. It's used for, like, show. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Probably got to go give that to somebody for some kind of quest or something. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Oh, don't care about you. A coolant tank, huh? Out of the way, little guy. What is that? Sentry saver? All right. Uh, ammo. All right. Model space. Oh, model spaceship. <laughs> okay. Nico pad. Okay, you see everyone's addicted because they're chewing on that that stuff, and then they need their Nico pads. Uh, I don't see anything else in here. So I think what happened was everyone in the entire building came at me, right? So like, there's nobody left, right? Because they all they all attacked me all at once. Cartridges. Spacer's Choice Automated Sales Unit Vending Machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from the company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction or a high uh, hack skill of 40 or higher. Oh, okay. All right. Um, oh, boy. Well, this is pretty interesting. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's... Spacer's Choice. Yeah, coffee company. Love it. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing. Adreno. I'll take some sliced bread. I wouldn't say no to some sliced bread. Okay, frozen dinner. Okay, grab that. Cabinets. Yeah, this this game is a really 50s feel, just like Fallout. Um, the difference between this and Fallout, though, is this is like not post-apocalyptic, so it feels like more like... Um, like a, a, a properly put together world and not like a destroyed world where everything's like just messed up. Okay, grab that. Grab that. Oh, look at all that heavy ammo. Hells yeah. I must have some good amount of heavy ammo now. Yeah, 256. Not too bad. Bard, huh? But I want to get in there. That looks interesting. Look at that. Hey, little guy, let me in. All right. Well, let's try in here. Oh, is that Bard too? No, there we go. What is that? Okay. Oily toxic free. Okay. Uh, pick up experimental. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Drino, more cartridges. Uh, I'll take up that stun baton. Thank you. Take all those pills. But take everything I can. There we go. Just take it all, bro. Take it all. Okay. All right, let's go. Bard. Wait, but that's barred from this side. Why can't I... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say. Oh, all right. This place looks familiar. All right, let's check it out. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that thing? This display fashioned to resemble a pair of mighty primals. Uh, required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence uh, for the researchers who gave their lives in pursuit of authenticity. Oh, all right, yeah, those things look pretty pretty nasty. I'll probably have to fight them later. Uh, canids can be found all over the Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties: domesticated and feral. Feral canids hunt in packs, while domesticated ca uh, canids. Can be loyal companions. Oh, I wonder if I could. Um, I wonder if I could tame the creatures. Uh, it is important to remember that the 
Candid is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. What the hell's in there? I don't see anything. Coming soon. Feast your eyes on the great frilled mantequine. Sovereign, uh, sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra One to thrill and excite your imagination. Well, there you go. Fishies. If the ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of the Emerald Vale, then salt tuna is our highly profitable blood. Yeah, it's yeah, salt tuna. Uh, these meaty fish live in the ocean and migrate upstream during them. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're fish. We eat them. Good job. Toilets. Toilet. Oh, God. Oh. Resident with something on them. Usually residents don't have anything on them. Okay. Necklace. I wonder if that's a quest item. Nope. Not a quest item. This is a quest item, apparently. Uh, Cleo probably contains edge water. Um, this might look nice in one of the cruise rooms on the unreliable. Huh. I wonder if I can get a quest from like putting that up in a cruise room or something. Oh, this is the other bar door. This is the uh, other room I wanted to get into. Ooh, that looks... See, this looks very 50s Fallout, doesn't it? This game's really, really cool. I I'm a big fan of Fallout and, and if any games... If games are like Fallout, I'm on board. Uh, first aid room key. Bit cartridge, pet pills, uh, light assault rifle. We already have all. We already have the light assault rifle. I took something too quickly and I don't know what it was. Back scratcher, <laughs> claw rake. Uh, yeah, not much damage. Yeah, that looks like a back scratcher. What is that? Light. Oh, I wait. I had assault rifle. That's a light assault rifle. Oh, so it's not as good. It's got less DPS. Yep, yep, less DPS. Magazine size is a little bit higher. But other than that, it's also level one. Okay. You know, I should probably give her something better. Let's give her... Uh, well, I don't want to give her an assault rifle because then she's going to go through all my ammo. Yeah, you know what? Never mind, lady. You're not, you're not using all my ammo, at least not right now. I actually want to look at that assault rifle. It looks pretty cool. Uh, what's the button? Uh, break the, is it uh, S? Nope. That mm. there's a way to look at this stuff. I forget how. Oh, there we go. You right click. Yeah, that does look neat. I like that. It looks cool. Can you zoom in. No, I can't zoom in anymore. Yeah, it's a good looking weapon. All right. All right. So we're looking for some kind of uh, locked door, right? Because then we get some kind of key for something. Got a key for a medical room or some crap. Oh god, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. See, this is why I'm glad I didn't finish up, why I didn't keep going last episode, because I knew this place was going to be big. Mechanical Engineering Volume 1. What is that? Uh, uh, what was this, too? Pick this up. Dervish Mist. Adrenaline Booster. Um, speed. Movement speed plus 20. Melee weapon attack speed plus 20. Last 15 seconds. Whirl to you hurl. Okay, so... Oh... Oh, does that stack on top of this? Like, now when I use this, I'll get to use both of these at once? I think that's what that does. That's cool. This one's 25% uh, health over two seconds. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Like, is there a movement? And, uh, okay, cool. That's good. I like that. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, so this is a different one, right? I can use another one. Sniper. Critical damage plus 15% bonus to headshot slash weak spot damage plus... Oh, so which one do you think is better? I'm going to stick with this one. I think that might be better. Can we compare? No, you can't. All right. Uh, what is oh, there's another one. Liquid Toxin Absorber. Immunalize, harmful effects, statics, duration, negative 50%. Okay. Yeah, that, that one doesn't seem all that useful. All right, what was that other item we got? Uh, no, not in there. Yeah, right here. It's for another quest. I, yeah, it's for a quest. Okay. Fair enough. Excuse me. Take that. Oh, look at that. 
Well, I was, thank God no one was up here shooting at me, man. I could have got messed up. Light ammo. Bit cartridges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where is the loot? Give me your loot. I want your pet pills all day and night. Uh, is this the way I came in? Yeah, I think this. Yeah, this is the way I came. I think this is the way I came in. I'm starting to get turned around in here. But you have a map, right? Yeah. No, that's not really that. Oh, the two floors. Oh, there we go. Doesn't really tell me much about the map though. I'm about region now. Nah. So I'm just checking out the vending machine. It's got some really interesting items in here. Um, it's got some neat weapons, although they're a bit on the expensive side for what I'm doing. Uh, they do have some armor that I actually want to buy. Uh, let's take a look at what I have for armor. Um, when you guys pointed out that I'm using like bad armor, <laughs> it's so true. Stealth skill. I should be using this for tech skill, and it's got more armor. So I will go ahead and put that on now. Okay. And I, I thought I put that on earlier. I'm wondering if they made me take it off because it makes me look like one of the Marauders. I don't know. Um, let's take a look at Parvati. And she has a good helmet with lockpick. And I don't really love those overalls. Was that was that level seven? It's not terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave her with that. I think that's um, I think that's pretty good. So I'm at a nine and a nine. Tech skills. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with all that stuff. So, I mean, I think these helmets are probably a little bit better because they give me Intimidate, which is probably better than Tech skill. But I'm going to leave it alone because I don't have a lot of Dukes and spent 100 Dukes just for a little bit of Intimidate, you know. And then uh, you got these things, these Riot Control Armor, uh, you know, Stealth skill, whatever. Uh, Parvati's has already got seven. Mine's got nine armor. I think I'm okay with that. We're going to save some money there. Uh... Right here, this is this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I could get you could get um magazine increasers. These are um uh, mods for your guns, defense skill, um weapon skill. That's for melee, I guess. Uh, it is melee, right? Yeah, melee. Uh, this is guns, magazine size, and this is melee weapon attack speed. Okay. Uh, don't love any of those. I can't buy any of this stuff because I got perk into the right spot. Excuse me. And um, I think right here, uh, I want to get some heavy ammo, I think. So how do I buy that? Just buy, right? Okay, so it's 50. Is it 6? Oh, no. 50 is uh, 300. Jesus. Yeah, so it's 6 each. Wow. It's pretty expensive. I'm going to buy 25. All right. And uh, then I'm going to buy... Actually, no, I think that's it. Is that really all I want? Yeah, I think that's all I want. Well, let's just buy more ammo. Why not? Ammo is important. Buy, buy 50? It's going to leave us with not a lot of dukes. Or dukes. Oh, God. Uh, God, it's seven days to die, right? All right. So did we buy all that? I didn't hear that last one go blue, blue, but I think I did because I don't think I have any money. No, I didn't buy that last one. I didn't think I did. Yeah, let's just let's just buy another fifty of this. Except, there we go. And buy another fifty. I I thought it was more money than that, but oh wait, can you only buy so much? Oh, you can only buy so much. Okay, so they will run out eventually. Okay, fair enough. All right, so there's a door right here that I think this is the door I got the key for. Transition to Emerald Vale region. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know. Did I did I look in this? I don't know. Maybe I missed something. If I missed something in there, guys, let me know. But I, I like, went around. I got a little bit lost, but I, I'm pretty sure I found about everything that was in there. Maybe not. I don't know. But, yeah, it's fine. Defeat our foes. Okay. Oh, here we go. Something out back. Huh. Okay. Don't look like there's much out here. <clears throat> No, don't look like there's anything out here. Got a chest right here. Looks like we're going to want to sell soon as well because I'm getting, uh, I think I'm getting overweight. It, I don't think it says my weight unless I'm on this. Yeah, 82 of 110. No, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go. All right, so where are we going? Okay, so we're going up here. All right, cool. Let's keep on keeping on. Sheevas. I'd like to get where I'm going without having to go back and sell because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I can sell where I'm going. Is this it? Are we almost there? We're almost there. Should I go straight there or should I keep looking through places? I kind of want to keep looking through places. We'll get there eventually, guys. Exploration is the big part of these games. I'll... 
I want to see what's what. Look at this guy. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Plasma rifle. I do not want to sleep. I want to put on that plasma. Hey, Pravada, you see my awesome plasma rifle? You jelly bro. Oh my god, look at this thing. Yeah, boy. Oh my god. Gonna blast some fools. Blast some fools. Let's take a look at the stats. Ew, 71. Really? What makes it good? Oh, that's a... That's sad. What the hell? Um, it can hold a lot. Uh, oh, oh, it's got a damage range. Oh, so, huh? The special effect is burn. If you could choose only one energy-based weapon, impact triggered explosives, high rate of fire rifle. Choose jock. Okay. Well, I'll probably use it just for the for, just for the lulls, and maybe maybe the um the burn is useful, and it's also got a damage range, so. <clears throat> How can its damage be? How can its like DPS be so low when its damage range is 50, 52 to one eighteen? All right, so I don't see any kind of um, rate of fire. Uh, so the fact that this plasma rifle does fifty two to one eighteen damage and the assault rifle does twenty eight damage, I don't see how this plasma rifle could be like less than half of the DPS unless it fires really slowly. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we're gonna put that up there, and let's take a look at this. Look at that. Some energy weapons can charge up for a bigger attack. Hold the attack button to build up your energy and then release it to attack. Maybe that's why it has a range. Yeah, it's, it, it definitely shoots slower than the uh, than the assault rifle, but I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to kind of check it out. Um, combat drone got wasted, apparently. Scorched journal after sneaking parts out of the industrial sector for a couple of days I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine However upon closer inspection. I am not entirely sure of all the components Sure all of these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board Would build their own mechanicals with custom tool parts, right? Everything would have to be modular uh, for the mechanic. Oh boy after a few hours of experimentation things have started to come together But I still don't seem to have it down to an exact science for instance, there's something wrong with the memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing sound and refused to respond to feedback. I wonder if this robot killed him. I removed it, whacked it with a wrench a few times, and that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were working for a few seconds after I installed it again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds. And the damn thing's right stabilizer won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processing core again and give it a few more whacks. That'll learn it. Yeah, the thing came to like life and killed him. And then, I don't know, fell apart, I guess. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Oops, we read that. All right, you're not going to need that anymore. Yeah, he got he got destroyed. Yeah, he's got the wrench in his hands and everything. Well, you know, that's what happens. Try and play God. All right. Well, let's, let's go. We got in here. Nothing evicted. Open. Mm. Allergies. Oh boy. All right. Uh, what is that? Oh, light ammo. Okay. Uh, Adreno. We got back here. Hey, some brooding material for the toilet. Classy. All right. Going over there, right? I want to get there this video. So let's, let's, we're going to go a little long here because <clears throat> I want to get to the next part. Because, uh, man, I've been on this quest for like two videos now. I mean, but the thing is, like, you want to stop and look at everything because if you don't, I wouldn't have this rifle Move right along, now. Stranger. We don't want any trouble. What's up? I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I want some answers. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Mm. I'm looking for a geothermal plant. Know anything about it? A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, Know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. 
No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. We've all got problems. I just got shot into space. Explains why you're still yammering on at me. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Don't tell me you're scared of a few marauders. I've crossed off my share of marauders. This ain't about them. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Any idea? It's my dilemma. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. All right, I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. She could appreciate it. Honest. Okay. Let's go check out uh, Adelaide. I keep wanting to call her Adele. I'll, I'll explore this place more next video, but I really want to get talking to Adelaide. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. You must be Adelaide. Any I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? Uh. You should try some of my tobacorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Uh, Reed has to share by the time he's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. You're doing this for Reed? Why? Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. All right, this actually... You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Oh, come on, you're asking me to do the same thing to the town that, that this guy's asking me to do to you. You sound just like Reed. <laughs> you know, Reed wants me to come cut off your power, so you come to him. You want me to cut off their power, so they, I don't know what you expect them to do. Nah, nah, I'm not, you know. Uh, what have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery. Living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't like uh, throwing that in... Her face to get me on your side. What do you have against people living, trying to make a living? Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp mm -hmm. grows and thrives. Mm -hmm. So you're doing the same thing that Reed's doing. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Uh, damn it. I wanted to talk to her about something else. Um, see, <laughs> I don't really see her as much different than Reed. I wanted to ask her, what does she have against people working for a living? You know, um, I don't know. People work and the company provides them 
what they need to live. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lives. Edgewater. Damn Life it, I want to get back to that. Grinds to a halt. The, you bring power to Reed's town yeah, okay. and you'll be... I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Okay. Well, I will listen to my conscience and I will listen to my commentators. Now, guys, um, or commenters. Now, this video will probably not be up before I record next video. So I might actually go on with the quest, but you guys let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think I should grab the power from Edgewater and divert it to this town? Or do you think I should divert it from this town to Edgewater? I could do either. Um, I'm kind of like, want to take it from this town just because I don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's a tough choice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And um, like I said, I might go on with the quest line before I get to see the comments in this video. But maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just put this quest on hold until I, until this episode's gone up. All right. Either way, I am going to call this one here. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.